I am super excited to be doing this video today. I love all things books, especially because people have been asking me for recommendations on our like favorite nature books. We are nature obsessed. We always have been, even before homeschooling. We have always gravitated towards those nature style books as well. Um, so over the years, we have kind of, you know, refined our collection. And I wanted to share with you today, I've got a bunch of books down here. I'm gonna take you through one by one, why we love it, and kind of give you a, a bit of a run through of inside the book, what's inside and, and how it looks and all that sort of stuff um, and hopefully it might give you some things to add to your your wish list um, of books to incorporate into your homeschool especially from a nature perspective I've tried to give a little bit of a kind of an overall like our favorite sort of books that are our reading books they're like you know lovely picture books and then I've got like resource books like real hardcore you know if you need something information on a particular animal you will find it in this book kind of book um so I've kind of tried to balance that um I really love having those kinds of things I know you can do google searches and there's so many apps and all that kind of stuff but um, I also really love having one or two really good resource books as well, just on hand. Um, I just feel like I like doing both. I like researching online. I love the fact that there are so many wonderful ways to find information. And if I feel called to, I'll use that, but I also use the books as well. Um, I think it's just great to have a couple of really good books on your bookshelf. Um, so I'm gonna take you through and let you know what are our favorite nature inspired books. So some of these books you will have already kind of seen whenever I have like our favorites or any of those kinds of videos, you will see some of these, some of these books in those videos as well. So I do apologize. Sometimes I am repetitive in terms of my favorite books or my favorite things. But that's just because I really love them and I couldn't leave them out of this list if they're something that I really love. So if you've seen it before, maybe you should go out and buy it. I don't know. This is one of those books that I constantly recommend to people and is The Lost Book of Adventure. So this is focused on a survival aspect. Oh, it is just a stunning book. I mean, <sighs> whenever we open this book, we do that. We just sigh and we just absorb it and just wish to be able to draw like that and oh my goodness it is just we will never ever get tired of just looking through this book it is phenomenal um a couple of things that we really love is the fact that it inspires us to to do art so we've used it for you know art study we've used it for references of survival um, it mentions lots of different areas uh, there are lots and lots of survival aspects to this book um, it even gives you checklists for you know camp wild kit you can make your own this would be one of those keepsake books it has a really good texture to it the pages are really good quality they're nice and thick they're easy to grab onto um, my children love this book and so do i this book is also one of our favorites is uh, the magic and mystery of trees written by jen green there are so many good things to mention about this book. Uh, it is really, really informative, but also really inspiring. Uh, it's not overwhelm or overwhelming with its information. That's what I, I, I love that there are books that just allow you to just kind of see particular things. Like the previous book that I showed you, there's a lot of information and it can be overwhelming, um, but it is also beautiful. But this is... Um, this is a book that I find that we really do learn a lot from. So another fantastic um, book of ours that we use time and time again. This book is Jane Goodall, Who Is series. These books are fantastic. They're fantastic because they're not too big. They have great little illustrations within the book as well. The writing is big enough for, you know, beginner like you know beginner readers where they're just starting to read chapter books they could read this on their own it is fantastic um the story alone is just wonderful story my kids 
this was just a, a winner for us. We went and watched um, a documentary after this book and it was just, there, there were so many rabbit trails from this, this book is what I'm trying to say. It's a wonderful book that teaches the aspects or the, the reasons for observation and how, um, how important that is for us to learn from nature and, and how much we can, we can gain from that. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a special book. The next nature book that we love is We Travel So Far. So this is uh, Laura Knowles and Chris Madden. Um, this is a book that covers uh, the, the hardships that they experience with having to travel um, and, and just how magnificent that, that journey is. It's very short, it's very sweet to the point um but it's it does definitely show you know send an impactful message i think um my kids found that some of these some of these aspects some of the the lengths that these animals go to to survive is is mind-blowing um so yeah it's it's pretty it's a pretty cool book this next book is actually something that we got from the Jane Goodall um, Roots and Shoots uh, website. So this was something that was gifted um, and we actually applied for that. So any, uh, I believe any home educator can apply for that in Australia. But this book is phenomenal because it's it's focused on unique animals, animals that you might not have seen around the world. Things that are just kind of, you know, maybe missed or a little bit more unique. And um, yeah, I mean, look at the, the beautiful pictures. There is just so much in this book. We still haven't gotten through this entire book. We keep getting caught in rabbit trails where we find something we go, oh, let's go find out about that. Um, but it is pretty amazing stuff. So yeah, it is definitely one of our favorite books that we hope to, to get through more. This is one that I have mentioned quite a few times, Nature Anatomy um, by Julia Rothman. So we have the pack, the little box, um, pack of three. And this is a fantastic um, book because it really helps to break down and simplify things. It is not overwhelming. Again, you know, I like to strike a balance with our nature books. Some I'd like to have very informative and then others I just like to focus in on the beauty of nature. Um, and I find having a good balance of that allows me to create a nice um, invitation to learn on the coffee table. I like to like lay out objects and bits and pieces and then have books open to particular areas and just invite my kids to just in investigate. Um, and this is usually one that I, I gravitate towards to, to have laid open. And it's usually one that inspires a lot of nature drawing as well. So it's definitely one if you haven't got already, I definitely recommend it. So I wanted to include something that might be, might make a good gift for someone that you know. I'll, this is a book that uh, my son got for Christmas last year and it is a winner. It's 50 things to uh, do with a pen knife. So we have whittling knives and my kids love to um, grab pieces of wood that have might have freshly fallen on the ground or we can cut some um, branches off of one of our trees that might need you know um, cutting good simple advice so it's just you know step one step two steps three it's amazing and it's very um, informative in the way that you can create particular things uh, it is really inspiring and my kids do love it we haven't made a huge amount of things they do like to they tend to like uh, learning how to do something and then make it, make it, make it, make it. So we're moving very slowly through the book, but it is reassuring having a bunch of uh, handicraft activities in this little book. Um, it's a great size. I love taking it with us when we, we always take our whittling uh, knives whenever we go away. You never know what you might find. And it is very meditative, very grounding um, for my kids. So it's definitely something that we really enjoy. Reference book. This is like a nature Bible, honestly. So this was the recommended book that came with Exploring Nature with Children, which we've done for two years in a row. Um, we love that curriculum. It's fantastic. And this 
accompanies that. She recommends having that. Now, I was a little concerned when I got this that I thought, oh, is it even going to be like relevant to our studies thinking, you know, I have to get Australian animals, Australian animals. We've got lots of Australian animal books and we kind of know a lot about Australian animals because they're all at the zoos and um, we see them every day. <laughs> it's actually, I've realized that what we really do need to know is about animals that we don't see every day and animals that we see on TV and movies and all that kind of stuff. Those animals are fascinating to us because they, we don't see them in our everyday. So I've realized that these kinds of books are actually fantastic and they do have lots of animals that we have here in Australia as well. And honestly, it's, it's, it's a great book. Um, it is not for children. I mean, children can definitely look through it and mine do actually, but, um, it doesn't just cover animals. It covers, you know, botany as well. So for that reason, I think that is fantastic. And, um, I just, I just, I really love it. I think it looks beautiful as well on the shelf. I think that it's just one of those kinds of old school treasured items that I'm going to hold on to forever. Um, but it is very, very informative. I like the fact that even though it's a monster of a book, you can still read it. My kids can still read it as well. It's not huge, you know, it's not huge writing, but it's definitely, you know, not on the smaller side either. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a great book. It has definitely helped me, um, identify some things, but I mainly get it because I mainly got it because it was part of the, um, curriculum recommendation. And there is just, there is a lot to this. There's a lot to be gained from having this book, um, with the curriculum. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite a, it's quite a special book. So definitely if you're looking for something that's kind of very in depth, and um, a great resource book, something that you might find that can help, you know, into the high school years, this is definitely something like that. So it's a reference book that um, is kind of geared towards children is definitely um, The Curiosity Natural World is definitely something that um, focuses in on habitats, uh, species and um, animal behavior. Uh, the images are kind of a little bit like the museum series as well. Like it has that very, and, and a little bit, I guess, like the Julia Rothman books too. Um, simple. It allows the kids to kind of really see things in a simple form. Um, I think that I like to have a blend of these kinds of books along with the real photographic um, kind of reference books as well. Uh, I just find my kids tend to go towards these kinds of books because they seem less, um, they don't get dis this distracted by all the detail. These are just very simple on the eye and they can just absorb the information better. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's, it's, I like to have a balance of these kinds of books that, you know, have a little bit of everything. And I think that that way they can get the information they need in the way that they need it. So I wanted to finish this, uh, you know, book haul, you know, sharing all of my books. I wanted to finish it with an actual kind of picture book because picture books can actually be really wonderful to have um, on hand just to strike inspiration and just to, um, I, I just feel like they're really special. And I usually get them from the library, but I had to purchase this book because the illustrations alone are stunning, but we can really relate to the fact that in this book, it kind of captures the essence of falling in love with plants and growing things. Um, and I really love that um, Joetta Gaines has created this book around her family and their story and just their obsession with plants now. But it grew from just, you know, having one simple plant. And I, I just think it's it's a really good story. And we, our, you know, it's a little bit of a joke in our family because that's kind of how we came to have all the animals and plants that we have. It's just from one simple little pot plant. Um, and it's, it's, it's just grew from there. So that's why I wanted to um, show you this book. It's very special to us um, within our family. And my daughter really loves reading it over and over and over. So I thought I would put that on the list because it could be a really great wish list book as well.
Hope you enjoy this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you like it. So I know if I should do any more of these kinds of book hauls or, you know, run through with books and what we have on our bookshelf, that kind of thing. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you have got on your bookshelves. What are your favorite nature books? What are the books that you always reach for when you're doing a lesson, a nature lesson or nature study or whatever it is that you do in your homeschool? I want to know what books are your books that you could couldn't do you couldn't live without um, I may add it to my list <laughs> okay thank you for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video